Welcome to your daily focus for October the 7th, 2014. Um, today we have the Knight of Cups. We have the King of Wands. The Seven of Coins. I think she was around for the weekend. And I apologize in advance to so many. 35 upheaval. I know this is not a card you want to see. But there it is. So, I mean, you know, allow upheaval to occur. Don't try and run from it. Don't try and prevent it. Don't try and stop it. Um, let the tidal wave come in. It's pushing you in a direction. It's giving you the knowledge you need or the strength you need. So embrace it. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. So, you know, in, in the other deck, this is my Knight in Shining Armor. In this one, it's more of your passions coming forward, your emotion coming forward, your realization of love coming forward. You know, we have the manta ray here. I think that's emotional agility. We have the koi here, which is love and friendship. So it's definitely going to be emotional, passionate, dealing with other people, friends, relationships. King of Wands. Now, I love this card already, okay? We have the, the red. The whole card is red, for goodness sakes. Um, passion, energy, dynamics. And this is, I think, you standing in your truth. Okay? If you can imagine you're standing in the doorway and you're blocking anybody else's entrance to your power, to your fire, to your flame, but to your power, to who you are. You know, a great leader, um, you know, they succeed in their challenges, in their, in their dreams, in their goals, in their aspirations. And it's not merely by position but it's their passion. And so this card is saying definitely bring your passions to the front today. Let them rule. You stand in your truth. Guard your light. Don't let people come and take your energy away that don't deserve it. That aren't sharing their energy with you. And seven of coins, what are you cultivating? It's getting very close to the harvest. We're going into a full moon, right? An eclipse, no less. Um, October the 8th, so tomorrow. So what are you harvesting? Because the, the full moon is all about completions, endings. So get ready to move on the path. But right now, the day before, we're being asked, what are we cultivating? Where are we putting our energy? Do we have the balance we need in, in, just in ourselves? Do we have a balance of, of work and home and spiritual? So take a good look around you at exactly what you are cultivating and if your actions are really producing or at least not even producing at this point, but it's in line with what you want to do in life. If it's to grow in a relationship and deepen a relationship or invite a relationship into being. If it's stature in the community, if it's a job or a promotion. If it's health and well-being, you know your path. You know where you've been putting forward the energy or where you want to put forward the energy. Or you see if you put the energy there, 
it will work. It will come together so easily. So upheaval is here one more time to shake us up, to make us realize that this is the path for us. This is where we need to go. This is where we need to put our energies. And it could very well be with the energy right now that you are trying very hard to do what you want to do and everything else is pulling you off the path. So show your courage, show your determination, show your perseverance. And until we meet again, remember, I do love you.